What are your public pet peeves? You know when you're on a plane and you're sitting there really tight and then all of a sudden a pair of dirty fucking feet fall right there? <laughs> you should be put on the no-fly list. I don't love when people are sitting so close to me, our arms are touching. I don't like <laughs> it when like they won't kind of recoil. <laughs> it's like recoil. <laughs> I think mine is when you're walking somewhere mm -hmm. and they stop instead of like <laughs> right in front of you. Yeah, right. In front oh of my you. god, I hate just that. Just short stop it. Yes. And you, oh and you my god. Hit them. Oh, I do hit them. I have like tripped over children. People who take up the entire sidewalk. If there's like groups of people and they just like line up like they're in some marching order or something, I'm like. Oh. We both <laughs> inhaled so deeply when you <laughs> said that. People have no self awareness when you walk, and then they it's like they turn off. Oh, it's yeah. like the snatchers, There's the a body glitch. snatchers. There's yeah, they're just glitch. like, uh, uh. <laughs> But if you're walking slow and I can't get past you on the sidewalk, so now I have to walk at a glacial pace, drives me insane. What about these fast walkers coming up on your <laughs> ass while you're enjoying the scene? <laughs> if somebody opens a door for you, mm -hmm. or you open the door for somebody else, you make eye contact and say thank you very much. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's just holding the door open in general. Like, I'll be walking yes. into a building, I'm like, and they're just standing away. Your face, you know? Yeah, and they, they look and they see me and they just keep, I'm like, I literally, I'll go, thank you. Yeah. When you're holding the door and like, and they're, they're taking forever <laughs> to get to the door and you're like, okay, I, I, I'm, this isn't my job. I'm not a door. Yeah, or you're holding the door and it's one after the other, after yes. the other, after yes. the other. And you're it's like, like, oh my God, I didn't sign up for this. I signed up for you. <laughs> when I am trying to cross the street and someone is like right in the smack dab middle of the crosswalk, it's because they were like, oh, should I go? Should I make this light? Oh, no, no, I'm going to stop here. And I'm like, I make it a point <laughs> when I walk around, I'm like, Power move. Feel good. Don't break eye contact. Full circle. <laughs> Assert dominance. <laughs> I'm walking here. And I'm like, <laughs> get, a little, get a little pat on the hood, just for good measure. Brought up drivers, people that don't zipper in when you're uh, merging. You gotta zip. You gotta zip. The fact that people get mad because they don't understand zippering is also frustrating because they'll be like, oh, well, if you're waiting till the end to merge, I'm not gonna let you in. And it's like, that's literally the point of zippering. Even, even especially in traffic. Oh, yeah. Somebody lets you in, you mm -hmm. give that expression and yeah, wave in the like, back. Thank you. Anything that little... you can do to let them know that you've had a crappy day, traffic sucks, and you, you got let in. I have to say, for the women that drive to work and then do their makeup in the mirror as they drive, Kudos for having that kind of actual coordination, but I've been waiting for you to merge for like two minutes now. Just, let's go. I have a specific pet peeve, and it involves people who write recipes. When they go season to taste, you tell me how much stuff to put in the final product. I thought you were going to say how recipes always tell like their whole life story before they actually get to the recipe. I love getting the backstory. You love the backstory? Who loves the backstory? No, I, of course I hate the backstory. <laughs> when you're at the grocery store and you're like looking at the pasta and someone will just be like, thank you. And I'm like, I could have moved. All you had to say was, excuse me. If you're standing there in front, like taking forever, I'm like, okay, I know what I want. I'm just going to be really quickly. I'm just going to like kind of go in and get up. You yeah. just have to say, excuse me. Well, I'll, yeah. Biggest pet peeves. It's got to be chewing loudly with your mouth. Oh <laughs> my God. How did I forget about that? It's, yeah, I can't stand it. It makes, it gives me chills and not the good kind. We do have someone in this office, while well, not say names. Oh, she knows. She knows. She chews like a baby panda with bamboo. She goes, <laughs> oh, and I'm like, no. I'm like, this has to be a joke. You cannot be actually chewing like this. When someone takes a FaceTime without their earphones in, and they're in like a Starbucks, yeah. and you're like, <laughs> I just joined the FaceTime. <laughs> That might be somebody else's pet peeve that some strange man joined your FaceTime. Maybe. <laughs> I think it's an invitation. If you're going to take a FaceTime, that, that is, is an that's invitation. True. I think like, so too. Another mm -hmm. phone one is when you text and they fucking call back. Oh. Or when you're talking to someone and then all of a sudden they just go to their phone and then you're <laughs> talking and then they just, and you're like waiting for a response and you're like, hello, and they're like, mm. Mm. I don't know if it's the same for ladies in public restrooms, but for me, I hate the sound of people sighing of relief when they finally start like <laughs> doing their business. They have to let the whole restroom know how badly they needed to piss. Or, fellas, when you're in a urinal 
and there's multiple urinals open and someone stands in the one right next to you and I'm like, that's my space. And then you're gonna sigh. One that gets me is when people's dogs like smell because there's a dog that smells currently right now in the office. I just like wash your dog more. I don't know. Is this video just for us to air things <laughs> about <people's> dogs? <laughs> when people don't pick up after their dogs. Oh. Bad enough. Stop it. it! Stop it! No, so I always do. I always do. The, Unless, that face didn't say so. Because there have been times where like he'll magically will have three poops and I only budgeted for one. <laughs> I only budgeted do. for me. If I had a dog, I'd name it Peeve. My pet Peeve. But um. <laughs> <laughs>